there's a phenomenon of American life that a Hollywood actor and director has become the fulcrum for a discussion of some of the toughest issues in American society. For instance, do you give the same weight to an anti-Semitic tirade while drunk as anti-Semitism while sober? And since Gibson acknowledged yesterday that even if you are drunk, the words have to come from someplace inside you, where? Which brings us back to the night of July 28th and what he says may have been in his mind as he drunkenly said Jews are responsible for all the wars in the world. Okay, now when you're loaded, you know, the balance of how you see things that comes out the wrong way. I know that it's not as black and white as that. I know that you just can't, you know, roar about things like that. My resentment stemmed from certain individuals treating me in a certain way. But we ask about those people he thought should apologize to him. Can they now argue they were right about what he is inside? Can you say anti-Semitic things and not be anti Semitic? Can you say intolerant things and not be an intolerant person? Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> Then we see this thing today where he goes nuts in some kind of club and is screaming at people. Have you, have you talked to him? Do you know anything about I, I this? I did talk to him. I talked to him today. And, uh, you know, I was extremely upset about it. And uh, he is extremely upset about it. And I asked him if he would come on the show tonight mm -hmm. so that he could explain what happened. Because uh, it, it's just, it was just one of those awful, awful right. things. Right. And I, I think he's a little mystified about what happened, but I think most importantly, he wanted to... Uh, we have him uh, live via satellite from Los Angeles, which would be Michael Richards. Michael, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hi, Michael. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm uh, not doing too good. Yeah. What, why don't you explain exactly what happened for the folks who may not know? I, uh, I lost my temper on stage. I was at uh, a comedy club trying to um, do my act, and I got heckled, and I... I, I took it badly and went into a, a rage, and uh, uh, said some pretty uh, nasty things. I'm I'm really busted up over this, and I'm 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 very very sorry uh, to those uh, people in the audience, uh, the blacks, the Hispanics, the whites, everyone that was there that took the brunt of that anger and 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 hate and rage and and how it came through and for this to happen for me to be in a comedy club and flip out and say this crap you know i'm i'm deeply deeply sorry I, i'll get to the force field of this hostility why it's there why the rage is in any of us why the trash takes place whether or not it's between me and a, and a couple of hecklers in the audience but you can't, you know, it's, it, it, I don't, I, I know people could, blacks could feel, what is, I'm not a racist, that's what's so insane about this. I don't, and yet, it's said, it comes through, it fires out of me. Thank you. 